kwa namba 1 FM kwa mtu wa amani kwenye nzima na nimesaf bunge wa 12 nilikuwa kwa kamati tofauti tofauti eh for example energy committee ama umeme nilikuwa house business nilikuwa vice chairman agriculture committee na kule party nimefanya kazi mingi sana upande wa maji upande wa stima upande wa bazari nilikuwa pia namba 27 out of 290 constituencies ambaye alifanya kazi nzuri sana kusaidia wanafunzi huko part okay thank you honorable your time is up and uh, we are strictly adhering to the 2 minute deadline that we have issued um major deco malim why do you want to become the next mp representing garissa township bismillah <coughs> Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I find uh, leadership as a calling. Uh, it's a contribution to all of us, not only myself as an individual who should be making to the society we live in or where we are born. Uh, it's a way of con uh, giving back to society. The leadership you provide is a way of giving back to society on what you have achieved as a person both uh, in terms of knowledge and uh, so it is for me a desire to offer myself to the people of Garissa so that I contribute to the improvement of their livelihood to the improvement of society and community to the improvement of our cities and towns within the constituency So for me it's more than just an employment it's a calling that I want to fulfill inshallah. Okay, okay. and uh, that gets us despite the observance of the time. Yes, Hamza, go ahead please. Mheshimiwa Ibrahim Malo. Tueleze labda kwa dakika mbili kwa nini unatafuta kiti cha ubunge cha Garissa mjini. Kiswahili au Kiingereza? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillah. My name is Ibrahim Malo Nur as I've been said before. The reason why I have shown interest in this town constituency is that I see myself as a bridge a bridge between the haves and the haves now. I have been in Garissa while I was looking for fees while I was studying in school while I was unemployed and I have also been in Garissa while I had a holding on public office what I realized is there is a wide gap between the people of garissa majority of them who are less fortunate in our society the mothers very many unemployed youth and the leadership in garissa has been a cycle for so long for me i see it is a break so i want to be the bridge that connects the majority who are less fortunate to the opportunities that are available in the modern kenya and in garissa specifically If you look around there are many challenges be it school fees be it water be it security be it the land be it tension on security matters there are a lot of challenges on the other side few had been enjoying the resources of government what is called the state capture that have prevailed upon so we need to break the cycle i believe i am the right candidate who will steer garissa to where it's supposed to Okay thank, okay you, thank for you for observing the time, time. and uh, let's, let's now, now gentlemen because there's no lady get to the very substantive elements and uh, the law does establish the legislature where if accorded the mandate by the people of Garissa township constituency you're going to be sitting amongst the other 289 MPs who are elected across the 290 constituencies may i begin with you honorable of the karim osman when it comes to representation when it comes to legislation when it comes to oversight how would you do it better because that's what the, what the people of Garissa township constituency need uh, thank you are you uh, i think uh, among uh, the rest of the candidates here i serve in the parliament already so i have a, a better opportunity and uh, I'm, i'm not new to the, to the house so i will serve very well of which i did before in party remember when i was talking about my history in parliament what i did and uh, being in different committees different committees in the parliament 
I saw the party very well, and you can go back to history and ask about party. Party was in the national limelight always, and I served my community very well. And uh, I think if I given opportunity to Garza County, near Garza Township, I will be much better. And uh, due to my experience, I can serve very efficiently and uh, very efficiently. Asante sana kwa jibu hilo. Labda eh, mheshimiwa Faisal, swala la ardhi katika sehemu hii ya Garissa ni jambo ambalo limefanya watu wengi sana kupoteza maisha. Watu wengi sana katika sehemu hii wamepoteza familia au hata rafiki katika eh, swala la ardhi hasa sehemu hii ya Modika. Iwapo utafanikiwa kuwa mbunge wa sehemu hii ya Garissa Township, utakabiliana vipi na swala hili? Kiswahili au Kiingereza? Thank you Hamza. Thank you, Ham Thank you, Hamza. That's a, an important question and uh, a contentious issue that is affecting Gariza people for the longest time. Um, I have uh, spoken many times at the county level, just as a concerned citizen, how we need to get involved in these um, uh, killings and uh, fight over land. Uh, one thing I know that God has given us a massive land with less population to occupy. And for us to kill for a land here, I think it's a cost by itself. But one thing I could tell you is that there's a lack of leadership that made our people to scramble for this land and cause the mayhem that we see every day. We have lost a lot of life. So many were injured, others are in the jail and uh, it's not something that was supposed to happen if the leaders were honest and sincere about governance and uh, land legislations. And that's why a National Land Commission was formed in order to mitigate land issues. But one thing that I found with the country as a whole, uh, so many entities, uh, government entities that were created to solve problems are uh, the causes of the problems that happens all the time. So what I could say is that I will involve directly about the land issue. Uh, the first thing a citizen is supposed to have is the rightful ownership of his or her land. The local land office and the urban uh, development, they were supposed to get involved and seriously register and uh, issue you. title thank you, on a land and uh, thank you, I would get involved. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, you are two seconds of the timing. Major De Komalem, I talked about the, 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 the component about representation and it's one big element that the president, William Ruto, recently when he convened a parliamentary group meeting of the uh, Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance talked about. What will be your approach towards better representation better legislation and oversight for the people of Gariza Township. Okay, as, uh, as you know, the role of, of your ex, I just explained, the role of a member of parliament is representation, one of them is representation, oversight, uh, lobbying for the constituency that you represent at the national government level. So my role here, will, I will take it very seriously. I'll voice my voice, I'll raise my voice to the interest of those who have ele uh, elected me, I will talk for the poor, for the, uh, the mothers uh, who, uh, uh, who have elected me, who stood with me, and all those whom I represent as a member of parliament. So for me, my intention here is to lobby for my people. Uh, as you know, uh, the national government has a, a, a more resources than the county government. When the resources were we are not equally, uh, you know, as you know, 15% comes here, 80% remains with the national government. For me, is to make sure that I do my role as an oversight, I do as a representation, and also lobby for more resources from the national government to trickle down to the constituents in general. Thank you. Mwishimiwa uh, Ibrahim Malo, ulikuwa katibu wa fedha ya county ya Garissa wakati wa serikali ya gavana Ali Korane bila shaka tutaweza kuuliza vipi litumika pesa wakati wako lakini kwa sasa utatumia vipi hazina ya CDF kwa sababu watu wengi sana wana wasiwasi kwamba atakayokuja atatumia vipi fedha ya CDF je atakuwa akitoa labda kwa haki ama, ama wengi wanashuku kwamba huenda eh, zoezi hilo likaweza kutekelezwa ama 
uh, kutolewa kwa fedha hiyo ikaweza kutolewa uh, kwa njia isiyo haki labda utatumia vipi uh, hazina ya CDF Asante Hamza True I have been a chief of staff finance in the county government of Garissa for a period of 2 years Very importantly before I come to the main question is I will connect it to the role of an MP that was that is representation, oversight, and legislation. On the issue of representation, the national government at the National Assembly is where the government budgets are decided which sector goes to what. For me, is to give a focus that if it is water, if it is roads, if it is national uh, security, they get an enough, enough resources. They follow up to the ground that what they were meant to do is actually what is happening. And just an example is we have NEMA, the regional office in Garissa. You have gone to where we have our waste management center, the Dutch, the, 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 what we call, just in the ring road. It is an open field where every dirt and everything is just open. How do they utilize the money they were given in, in, in terms of environment is the role of an MP. Now, on the issue of CDF, from where we start from, we had a CDF that had a committee that established and existed for 15 years that do not represent and carry the face of Garissa. Garissa is a cosmopolitan. Every community is there. For me, it's to have the face of Garissa. The Down Kenyans should be there. The three main communities should be there. And the Somalis that are from anywhere else should also be represented and made a focus that that is the work of that committee. They should have a plan, do a public participation on what's supposed to be done. And, and so my role will be non-interference on how that resources has to be done. But at the same time, give them check on what was supposed to be done and where. OK, thank you. Honda um, Babdi Karim, having served as an MP, the question about CDF and why this was uh, first incepted under the NAC government in 2003, the Kibaki government, which, had, uh, which came to power at the height of the sweeping election victory of the NAC coalition, was mainly for development, security, education, and development to some extent. How would you do it? Because there is a concern about the utilization of the funding, especially when it comes to corruption and what the committee undertakes. Uh, CDF. Ukienda upande wa CDF kuna security part vile umesema kuna ile bursary part na development part kule fati development part ilikuwa inafanya na wananchi ambao wanaishi fati lakini lazima watimize sheria ambayo inatakana kama ni kujenga shule kama ni kujenga police station lazima wapate hiyo sheria na tukao tunafanya vijana wanapatiwa kina mama na wazee so wakishamaliza wanalipa pesa yao Inspection kutoka Ministry of uh, Works wanaenda kuangalia wametimiza sheria yao na lipo pesa yao so nimesaidia vijana wengi sana through CDF development ukienda upande wa bazari nilipokuja fafi tumeanza na 25 million shillings tukaenda 30 million shillings tukaenda 35 tukaenda 40 so fafi shule ilikuwa imefungwa yote kwa ajili ya insecurity so tukafungua shule zote fafi ilikuwa number 1 Garissa county ilikuwa number 1 northeastern na wanafunzi kwa vile sina wafugaji tumelipa school fees yao 100% for example secondary schools university na colleges lakini Garissa township walikuwa wanalipa mambo ya secondary peke yake elftano wanaangalia wengine sisi hatukuwa tupagui kabila tunaenda kwa shule tuko na data pesi yetu tumejenga tayari shule watoto wanakaa na tunalipia yao mambo ya security Tukwa tume, tume, kuna hii ma, high mask ya safari kwa mingi megongwa. For example, Wilmerev, Fafi, Galmagala, Kamuze. Hata hapa kwa kwa ambaye ni Garza Township, mimi metengazi yote ni merudisha. Okay, I, I, I take your note. Um, before my colleague Hamza comes in, when you talk about uh, the differences in terms of uh, your management of uh, Fafi and Garza Township, and I presume under the leadership of the current defense CS, Adam Duale, but this is according to reports done by the Auditor General, one of the best managed constituencies in terms of CDF. It was ranked number five across the country. I mean, 
seems there is a disconnect between your statement and uh, what is... No, fact. there's no disconnect. I was talking about party, being a member of parliament party. So I was number 27. So, Sasa ni mkuja party. In fact, Duales, I'm a staff maka, kumina tano. Mi ni mesaf maka tano peki yaki. Na ni mepatiwa Gala Award, Garita County. Ni mepatiwa Gala Award, Northeastern. Ni kapatiwa fame number one in the country. So, ni kakua kiti ambaya likosa, akiwa majority na lipatolewa kule. Ni lichukua yu house business. Okay, uh, just, to be part of the, just to be part of the rules, Honda Babi Karim, we had laid down some rules and uh, uh, someone who has no, no right of... Okay. Just hang on, just hang on. Just, just hang on. Someone who has no right of reply ought not to be mentioned here. Just respond to the questions. No, I'm just telling you about Papi. I'm talking about Duali. Thank you. And, and, and time is up for that matter. Yes, Hamza. Although, although a project of Duali is here, so I'm not just talking okay. about Duali. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's not right. Let's, let's, uh, okay. Uh, Kidogo atunge penda kuzungumzia kwa mtu ambaye hayuko hapa na labda labda Abdi Karim ulikuwa na nafasi ya kutumia pia na pesa ya World Bank tukizungumza pesa ya World Bank ilikuwa pesa nyingi na labda mmoja anaweza juuliza ukilinganisha na pesa ya CDF na pesa ya World Bank gani ilikuwa nyingi kwa maoni yako Pesa CDF is about 100 million. Pesa World Bank, it was 1.5 billion shillings. 1.5 billion. Bado naendelea, paka December this year. Na hiyo ni pesa, na hiyo ni pesa nyingi. Labda ulifanya nini na pesa ya World Bank? Kwa sababu unatafuta kiti cha ubunge, ni muhimu tujue. Eh, ni mzuri. Pesa World Bank, unajua iko tafauti na CDF. World Bank, tukua na NGO ambayo ya ito faida, for example, Fafi. Uko the dark, like there, kuna NGO ya ito RRDO. Fafi, faida ya tembea kwa wanainchi. Hii ni bottom map hii ambayo ruto mekwana mekampini na yimetoka kwa hiyo project inyewe. Unaenda kwa kuzambu nanigi, ama unaenda galmagala, ama unaenda ala njuku. Unauliza wanainchi mwataka mfanyue nini? Si mimi na chunga ya pesa. Yamu ni kwa oversight. Na kuchunga ya kwa imetumika bila ya metakana. Sasa wanainchi wakisema, wanataka hospitali hapa, wanataka boho hapa, wanataka maji hapa, wanataka shule hapa, then inakuwa na saidia tu because we have been hosting refugees for the last 30 years na, on behalf of Kenya. Na kwa maoni yako, unaona kwa mba eh, duwale ya mefanya kazi mzuri kwa hile miyaka kuminatana likuwa mbunge? Ah, Sione kama mefanya kazi mzuri. Thank you. Anake, hapa kuna wa Kenya wengi, vile mwenzangu mwala wamesema hapa. For example, if you go to Nyelengumu, here in Gareza County, or in Gareza Township, for example, there are the majority of us. Wengi wotu tuenda palambala, fafi, Tadab. Na wanapiga kura. For example, wajaluo, ambaye ni ODM. Walipigia doala 100%. Okay. Juzi ya likuja hapa akapatia na ngamia na pesa kwa Somali communities. Not even Somali communities, all of them, some of them. Okay, thank you. Thank Masa wanalamiku wansema, sisi ambayo okay. tumipia kura. Okay. Hata kusema, asante mekwa shida. Thank you. Honda Abdi Karim Usman, I take your account. And uh, as per the rules I have read to you, they have been very clear. You responded to the question, but... Uh, Going forward, uh, we refrain from mentioning people who have no right of reply, which is, uh, which is accordingly <inaudible> part of the debate rules. <inaudible> I, I get your point. Thank you. I, I get your point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We, we get it. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. I wanted him to be here. So okay. I can thank, thank you. you. Thank 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 you. It comes with an accountability question. Honorable Abdi Karim does mention public participation. That's why the people of Gariza Township are seated behind us. They want clarity. They want answers. What's your modus operandi going forward? And how, how do you include them in the financial distribution of the CDF kitty? Okay. Uh, first of all, it's, for, it's good for us to understand the CDF Act and what it does and what it should not do. One of the major uh, areas that CDF should cover is the education sector. And, and then security and some aspects of the development projects. For me, I don't want to dwell much on personal attacks on anything. I have not been to the CDF office to establish uh, how the funds were used for Melissa County. But what I know, I have been campaigning in this uh, I just want to re respond to one uh, element that has been said here. There is a substantial number of non-Somalis, I think three of them who claim they are, they are represented in the, in the city of Garissa. There is uh, all the communities that have met 
in the last few months or one month or so. I want you to give me some time, please. The communities I've met have also uh, appreciated the fact the role played by CDF in terms of bursaries, payment for our children, uh, both uh, the high secondary level and colleges. So for me, as an individual, as a next member of parliament, I intend to effectively manage uh, that CDF fund. The, there, is a rule, there are rules that govern the CDF management team, the appointment side of it, and so everybody has a chance as a leader to select a team that is comfortable working with, irrespective of the number of years they serve at that level. If I go to the CDF office and I find and I find comfortable working with the existing team, why not for me? Because at the end of the day, I am the overall uh, boss of the of the of the office, of the kit. So the role of what I want to do with the CDF fund, education-wise is to sponsor as many teaching uh, for, uh, teachers because we have a problem of teaching staff in, in our constituency. Uh, we, I have discovered while I went out of uh, engaging the communities, this lack of uh, adequate or enough secondary schools uh, for our constituency. So for me to establish new secondary schools, payment for school fees for the children to begin with, there should be no child, school-going child who should be out of school because of lack of school. So that will be my beginning point for me. Thank you. Asante sana. Uh, tutakuwa tunakuenda mapumziko mafupi. Lakini kabla, honinge, kabla hapo ningependa kumuliza uh, mweshimiwa Ibrahim Malo. Swala la mazingira ni swala ambalo bila shaka uh, ama taka ya garisa kama uneza fahamu. Ni swala ambalo watu wengi sana wamejiuliza. Uh, japo inakuja chini ya serikali ya county lakini unaonaje swala la taka katika county ya Garissa and just uh, before you pick up for purposes of fairness we have added each member one minute extra so you have three minutes and a half to respond kindly go ahead thank you very much for the increase of time uh, the issue of waste in Garissa is an eyesore in an open center however there are opportunities within the waste itself. For me, what I want to, how I want to focus is instead of shifting blame to the county government and saying town is dirty or anywhere, for me is to, and there are an issue of unemployment that also exists. For me is to look for groups of youth that are unemployed, give them a seed fund where they can start and do a recycling of the waste. It's one aspect. The second one is Oh, similarly on environment is there are many caused by madenge not alone the dirt not alone the waste there is also the, the issue of madenge that is also an environmental hazard to add on it there is the issue of floods that come to Garissa when it rains upstream and when the dams are open floods from the uh, water that come from the dams also cause havoc after it it leaves a lot of uh, matope, what we call in Kiswahili, the mars, our roads, and everything. So, my starting point is to start a recycling, connect to the, uh, the waste management companies or waste recycling companies to our youth that are here, so that they can also convert money to some of it. The second part is become a solution oriented. Instead of blaming the county government, look for environment, the resources they have, and at least have a decent town. If it, it, if it allows us, we will, there will be no harm in allocating fuel for the trucks that carry the waste that the, maybe the county government cannot manage. Thank you. Thank so you. So for us is to have that solution and be the bridge between the, the problem and the solution. Thank you. Thank you, Hondabo. Thank you. Much appreciated. Asante sana. Uh, tutakuwa tunakwenda mapumziko fupi kwa sasa mtazamaji kumbuka uh, unatizama mahojiano haya moja kwa moja kutoka runinga ya Delta TV Kenya na pia Kula Post 
tutakuwa ni wenye kwenda mapumziko mafupi kisha tutaweza kurejea na mengi ikiwemo mahojiano na wananchi tumeweza zungumza na wakazi katika kaunti ya Garissa kati kati ya mji wa Garissa pia tumeweza kuhusisha wale ambao wako nje kuweza kutoa mja, kuweza kutoa mchango wao eh, katika mjadala huu au kuweza kutoa maoni yao ni kipi wanatafuta je watakwenda kwenye debes tarehe 5 eh, mwezi wa mwezi wa mwezi januari mwaka 2023 wacha tupate mapumziko mafupi kisha tutaweza kurejea still on the on police custody tunataka ule mp akiingia a consider eh, masingira kwa sababu tusisi wote ambao nzuri na hali ya maji pia ni muhimu zaidi it's a basic necessary It's amazing uh, is a basic things. Lazima tuangalie mambo ya health vizuri, mambo ya bazari. Although tunajua sasa hii devolved government wanafanya kazi yao. Kazi ya maji nataka yongezwe na mambo ya afya pia irudi vile ilivyo vile ilikwanga. Na tunaterejea wale ambao wataingia saa hizi kaliza township. Eh mambo ya security ikuwe vizuri. Wananchi wa Garissa tashirikiana kuchagua kiongozi mwenye maono mwenye anajua shida zetu mwenye anatambua venye tunaishi saa hii si venye tunafaa kuishi Faro Hospital visit us today quality help care brought closer to you kuwataja hapo baadaye haswa chuo kikuu cha Garissa kina historia ndefu sana historia ambao wengi hawataisahau lakini hata hivyo hatungependa kuzungumzia historia hiyo kwa sasa lakini eh, tutaweza kuwapatia nafasi angalau dakika moja tuweze kupata ufahamu zaidi ya chuo hichi cha Garissa Hello, uh, assalamu alaikum. Uh, uh, the, the university staff led by the head of marketing Mr. Ali Olo, the senior uh, education uh, director Madam Deka, uh, the our uh, able aspirants all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum. Good evening. Ahmad and Raga Abdullahi. Ahmad and Raga Abdullahi representing Garissa University. At the same time, I'm the president of Garissa University. So I welcome this opportunity to welcome you to this university. It is, Garissa University is the only university in northern region that serves six counties, mostly FCDC counties. So I take this opportunity with Hana on behalf of the university to welcome you to Garissa University. Welcome. The second issue, Garissa University is the only university. And I think it should be owned by this leader. So I would like to, first of all, order you and pressure you. Take note on this. The universities are owned and lobbied by the leaders. In your debate, when you're talking on the education, the universities are concerned. You never touch Garissa University. So Garissa University requires the full. The classes are not enough. We therefore request whoever win out of lack of gold to build small hall or tuition block from the CDF fund. The university has no fund currently and it has been affected by the policy of cut in which the, the, the 3% of the university capitation has been cut off. The second issue I would like to request to you is bursary for the needy students. Most of, us, of our students are from poor background. We therefore request bursary allocation specifically for this university as the top high institution of the region. 
security system was done by Hondoale. In power, 2017, the county government was to pay the bill. The meter reads of Sukhmukdi is up to now owed by 2 million. KPLC is threatening the, this, to, to disconnect. And you all know the history of this university. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank so, Thank you, Mr. President. I would like also to add the final point is I would like to request you sponsoring mentorship programs and capacity building to enable students to be useful and productive. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. My President. My last point is to plead with this public. Election come and goes. Let's elect leaders based on merit. Thank you. Let's not elect leaders based on tribe. Thank, Thank you so you. much. We appreciate uh, your comments here, Mr. President, and uh, uh, thank you so much. And let's now welcome the UDM parliamentary candidate, Nasri Jofle. Thank you. Welcome. Earlier on, we had Faisal Amin of the Azimio La Moja One Kenya Coalition Political Party. For those who are joining us here, we had Major Deko Malim of the United Democratic Alliance Party of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance by extension. We had uh, Ibrahim Malou of the Nak Kenya Party of Senior Council Mother Karua. And uh, we had Abdi Karim Osman, the former Fafi MP, who is again gunning for the. MP seat. We talked about security to some extent and uh, this will be uniform because at the best interest of time I would want us to conclude by 9.20 then we, talk, we take a maximum of five questions from the audience and we thank them for being civil and we thank them for their time for joining us here and as we proceed with this discussion Honorable Joffle, just part of the house rules and the guidelines, you have uh, two minutes to respond to a question 30 minutes for rebuttal and uh, global standards of any debate do apply here. And uh, we thank you for coming. Asante sana. Before we went on break, I had uh, Honorable Ibrahim Malo. Now, let me begin with you, Honorable Abdi Karim. O on the question of education, you have seen, you have heard from the President, because you, we have just partially talked about education and what it can do when it comes to the CDF fund kitty. For the needy students, for those who are quenching, who want to quench their education thirst, and who come from needy households, who are vulnerable, and because of the poverty situation, how would you do it differently? I mean, this is a problem that is pertinent across the country. What will be you address to that very pertinent problem that affects millions of people across the country? Uh, if elected as a member of Gaza Township, first, uh, today I can assure you, are you what I can assure the Gaza? Citizens, I'm going to fully 100% pay the school fees for secondary schools, especially the public schools. And we're going to have, I'm going to construct more public schools, especially the secondary schools. There are very few, according to according to whatever I've seen when I was campaigning. For university, in fact, uh, I had a lot of students who are from my constituency and especially from Gaza Township. If you ask Professor Warfa, we used to pay a lot. And uh, I can assure the students of Garris University, if elected, I'm going to pay 100% the school fees. We have enough money if we, if we are not corrupt. And I'm not looking for leadership, or I'm not running for a seat to get rich. You can, you can go back to my history in Fafi. Uh, I was the best Asante. member of parliament in Garza Township, Asante. best member of parliament in Northeastern. It's easy to do it. I know it. I can do it. And uh, I promise Garza Township, we need, as the students say, we should not elect leaders through uh, tribes. We should elect leaders through merit. Thank or you. we should not elect leaders through dynasty. No, if you go back to Garza history here. Okay, thank you. You know, for the last, okay. for the last 60 years, okay. you'll see a member of parliament. Asante sana Let me finish. Uh, I, I added that. The okay. brother was elected okay. 25 years. Okay. Uh, son in law was elected 15 years. And okay. then the son in law is bringing again. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Thank you. Okay. But the, uh, as Garza, well noted. We thank need you. to stand up and fight. To and party. stand up our rights. To our party. Thank you. To Asante sana. To our party. We need to be a party of the Bunda. Media Deco Mali. Ulikuwa na lalama hapo awali lakini hata hivyo tutaweza kuendelea. Labda kabla tusija kwenda kwake Jofle ambaye amefika ama Mheshimiwa Nasir Jofle ambaye amefika sasa hivi. Mheshimiwa kwa dakika moja na nusu ulikuwa unataka kuzungumzia swala la ardhi. Ambapo limefanya limekuwa eh, chanzo cha mauaji hapa Garissa. Utatuliza vipi joto la swala la ardhi? 
Before I go to that question, may I request a rebuttal for the... Yes, yes. First, I would like to ask the audience to stop clapping so that we hear what the other person is saying. We are unable to hear what the other person is saying. That is a request I make. I want Abdi Karim to tell us, because it is... Can you hear please? Oh, you just post, just post, Honorable. Let's let out. Okay, okay, no, 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 okay. They can clap. No, no, no. Yeah. You want to become a member of parliament and you are putting them not to clap. Okay. Thank you, thank you. My friend. Okay. I what? think you have spoiled for Al Quran. You, you have spoiled for me. Okay, thank you. Please. Thank you. Depending. Okay. Yeah. okay. Just, just, just hang on, just hang on. Okay, okay, just hang on, just hang on. Um, I, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Hamza, let, let me let me just reread uh, the point. Okay, can can we have some order kindly? Um, okay, can we have some order? Um, the honourable ladies and gentlemen who are with us, our audience, we appreciate your time. So earlier on we had house rules and regulations. So kindly in any debate, whether it's presidential and the global standard is, in any context, there is no clapping because we need to hear one another kindly. We appreciate your presence. What is the Okay? So if you are impressed by a statement made by any of your candidate, of which you have the right because you are in a democracy, then you can probably laugh, but if you clap, then we are cutting the communication channel they might not hear themselves and I might not be in a position to hear what they are saying kindly. Do we agree? Okay, that's fantastic. So that we continue and cover more topics because this is at your best interest, the people of Gariza Township. Kindly, let's observe that. Asante. Yes, wonderful Major Deco. Thank you very much, uh, but, uh, moderator. I want, first of all, uh, Abdikari to explain to us what he means by dynasty. In this country, there is a right of you contesting as a, uh, for an elected position. There is no, these are the democratic states. So he needs to ask us to explain to us what he means by, and, and again, can you keep quiet please? Can you be decent enough to listen to what people are saying? Oh. Honorable uh, Bikarim, I will give you enough time to respond. We are here because of you. We are here because of you so that you can hear one another kindly. Because of time. Yes, yes, proceed. First of all, you must explain to us what the dynasty is. These are the democratic country which elections happen every five years. Okay? So, telling us so and so, in, uh, to, be, to begin with, we don't elect clan and tribes here. We elect an individual. And everybody has a right to contest for that position, whatever it comes from. Is that uh, clear to us? I think that is the bottom line. So, when you're looking, to begin with, uh, by the way, his father was a uh, councillor for many years. If he's trying to tell us anything of that, his, councilor, his father was elected as a councillor for many years. Does he count it as an, uh, a dynasty issue? So, everybody, everybody has a right to be elected to a and contest and avail himself for elected position. So this conception that you pick it, these English words, you pick it from the streets and from the social media, you do not just come and pay for it up. Asante Mwishimiwa. Tuende kwa ke Mwishimiwa Nasir Jokle, tumpatia na pasi kwa sababu ya mefika sasa hivi. Asante. Kidogo. Kidogo, kidogo tuweze kupata kile atatombi. Labda mwishimua, hapo awali tulukua tumezungumzia maswala tapau tapauti. Ikiwemo maswala ya usalama, tumeza kuzungumzia mambo ya hazina ya sidia, tumeza kuzungumzia pia swala la ardi. Tuki zungumza ni labda tuki kupara maswali hili. Labda tuwembie, utatumia vipi eh, hazina ya sidia. Tukijua kwamba hauja wai kusimamia kiti hiki na labda kuweza kubatika kuwa mbunge hapo awali. Lakini, Utatumia BPA wapu, utapata na pasi ya kuwa mbunge wapi huu. And Honorable, before you proceed, because we had started before you were here, to be fair, we give you five minutes for introduction, so that you can conclude your remarks. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Um, I seek your apology, um, because I was traveling from Nairobi. Uh, I'm sorry to, be, to have come late 
And first of all, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bestowing us this opportunity to engage our electorates. And first and foremost, my name is Nasir Muhammad Dalal, popularly known as Jofle. I'm a breed or breed of Garissa uh, Township. And I would like to uh, tell the audience that I am a true reflection or I'm a living testimony of a hustler. I'm a hustler. My father had no job. My mother was a mom and boga, and uh, that's how I came up the ladder. And I am myself, or I am who I am, who, who I am because of my hard work and uh, determination. And on aspects of uh, CDF usage, first of all, we want to know the, uh, the reason, the aspect of CDF. Uh, we know how CDF was created. <coughs> And uh, I think uh, we need to be honest to ourselves when dispersing CDF. And, and I am a living testimony. When I was in Form 2, my mom could not afford to pay 3700 as my school fees. She used to sell nyanya, and I could feel her pain and suffering of uh, uh, bringing up a future leader without any connection to the leadership. And uh, when dispersing, dispersing uh, CDF, we need to reflect our yesteryears, what we have gone through. With me, if I want, if I, got, if I get elected as a member of parliament, as I have opined earlier in all my engagements, that the CDF will not be given to people who can afford to pay the school fees of their children. Simply meaning, Sita Walipia Matuguri. In a very simple uh, language, Sita Walipia Matuguri. Because it's not meant for the, for the rich. It is meant for the poor. It's meant for the, for the mamambogas, like my mom. And the mamas who are currently hustling to pay school fees for their children. I have always said that should I get elected as the member of parliament for Garissa Township, my CDF disbursement, my budget disbursement will be done in an open air at the Garissa Primary School grounds. And the reason, the reason why I'm saying that is there's this guy who is my relative, has a connection with the, uh, with the leadership, and because of his proximity to the leadership, he gets a lot of favors from the leadership. His son is pursuing a medicine in Uganda. The guy is driving a fuel guzzler, having a big house, a lot of businesses, and his son is still being paid 300,000 out of the CDF kitty. And on the same breath, my neighbor, a mamamboga, who lives in a rent, two, two rooms rented house, who, is, who cooks chips to fend for, their, for her children, have, has three daughters who have been chased from school because of 14,000, 3,000, 5,000, and 6,000. In total, 14,000. She came to me and asked me in a very, very, you know, uh, remote way, Mwishimiwa, Naomba wana saidiye fees ya mtoto wangu amefukuzwa shule kwa sababu ya shilingi 1300 na 1600 totaling 14000 thank you it paid me a lot i had to pay part of our school fees but it paid me a lot because i know someone who has been given 300000 towards his medicine school and she is an able to get 14,000. Asante, because of time, let me add you 30 seconds, you conclude. Okay. okay. That's the reason why I said, currently we have a very, very remote uh, leadership that do not have the people's interest at heart. That's the reason why I said, if I get elected as a member of parliament, I will disburse my CDF at the Garissa Primary School ground 
purposely to make sure Mama Mbogas get the benefits, not the, 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 the rich. Asante sana, thank you. Yes, Hamza. Kidogo naona tumemsahau mheshimiwa Faisal Amin na mheshimiwa tutaweza kuja kwako lakini mheshimiwa Faisal Amin eh, kwa dakika moja labda tueleze hali ya afya ya Garissa kama unavyofahamu kwa sababu natafuta kiti hiki na ni muhimu tuweze kuzungumzia japo ni eh, kidogo inakuja chini ya serikali ya kaunti lakini tunataka tu kujua maoni yako hali ya afya labda mwa hospitali za eh, Garissa kwa sasa ziko vipi Thank you, thank you, thank you, Hamza. Uh, before that, Hamza, I would like to address the issue of CDF, if you don't mind. Yeah, I think I was supposed to. A minute to do that, and a minute to respond to the question, please. Before. Yeah, a minute to the question on CDF, yes. and then a minute to his question. I think it will be unfair for me a minute for CDF. I will add you. Yes. I, I'm here to add you time so that you can sufficiently address your point. Let's yes, go been, ahead. I've been waiting for it. Thank you. Um, about the CDF, I think is the main uh, source of uh, fund for the member of parliament, uh, and uh, it has been uh, abused because there is no transparency and accountability. Uh, first thing I will do as an MP is that I will, first of all, advertise the position of the chairman uh, among Garissa people who can really fit that uh, position, instead of handpicking somebody who is going to. Uh, facilitate corruption by the end of the day. And the other thing that uh, CDF has got 55% uh, on uh, education and security. Uh, we have 11% uh, on water, 6% on health issue, and it has to have 30% on a corner tribe to begin with. That's where we are lacking the uh, fairness that comes with CDF. A lot of people who are at the bottom of the, of the pyramids are forgotten because they are not considered. That's why always someone talk about that. The rich are paid well, uh, hundreds of thousands for their kids, and the poor people, they don't get what they deserve because that was what it was supposed to be. So I will make sure that the 30% of the corner tribe stands out. Uh, the CDF chairman is gonna be somebody uh, vetted and ready for the job, and he's not gonna be biased against the Gariza people and uh, every percentage goes to the way it is supposed to be in Basari, in uh, building school facilities, and security, I tell you that Gariza is lacking security a lot, and it's supposed to have almost about four extra police posts and uh, uh, police stations for if that is possible. I would be greatly involved to make sure Gariza is safe by engaging in security matters. Thank you on the, the CDF thing. Thank you. Yes, Honorable Karim, then we go to Honorable Malo. Uh, just let me, I, I know you have a rebuttal, so I give you time. Honorable Malo, to you, the question. It's, it's still on the question of, uh, because we, and, and uh, at the best interest of time, because we need to take five questions, because you are five from the audience, after you respond to that question, Abdi Karim, and then Honorable Major Dekomalim. Public participation the constitution does place or it emphasizes on the importance of uh, the Kenyan people. To what level of engagement would you engage the people of Gariza County in security management, in the development that they need, and also in education because uh, that is the cornerstone to any society's development? Thank you very much. Uh, on the issue of security and, and the public participation. So before I come to public participation, I want to briefly address on the issue of security. I want to send my condolences to the many mothers and fathers who lost their loved ones because of the Korean law on, 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 on security that was passed by, by our own member of parliament, who was the majority leader then. Uh, it is called the security bill. That security bill has seriously affected the people of Garissa. There are disappearances, many people have lost their lives. So, and I also...